This is a video on how to set up your paper in MLA format using the latest version of Microsoft Word 2010. The first thing we need to do before we start doing any typing is make sure that we have our paper set up to proper MLA format. That means our font needs to be switched to Times New Roman, which we can do in this box here. We also need to make sure that the font size is changed to 12 point. Next, we need to make sure that our line spacing is set to double spacing. Okay, so we go over here to the spacing and we change it to 2.0 for double spacing. But we also here need to check something else. We need to make sure that we click on this remove space after paragraph so that extra spaces are not added. That's something a lot of people forget about and they end up having extra spaces in their paper. Okay. Next, we need to make sure our page lay layout is set to one inch margins on all sides. We can do that by clicking margins and selecting this. In the current version of Microsoft Office, it automatically sets this to one inch margins. However, if you are using an older version of Office or another program, your margins may not be set to one inch and you'll need to adjust that uh, accordingly. You should have one inch on the top, bottom, left, and right. Okay, so now we can start typing. We put in the top left hand corner, we don't do any extra spacing, we just put in the very top first line, your name. Obviously you will type your own name here, uh, but since I don't know your name, uh, because this is a video, you're going to have to put your own. Next you're going to put the name of your teacher. So we'll put Mr. or Miss Teacher. Okay, you don't have to spell out their full name, a Mr. or Dr. or Miss, depending on the um, prefix needed, is all that is needed, and the last name of your teacher. Next, on line three, we put the name of the course. You can either spell out the full course, like English Composition 1, or you can use a course abbreviation such as English 1010. So let's just put English 1010 here. Okay? And then on line four, we put the current date, or the date that the paper is due, whichever happens to be your preference. Uh, so if we are dealing with, um, let's say, January 1st, we would put 1 Jan for January 2012. Notice that we do not add any extra commas, we put the number date and then a abbreviation for the month. We don't put 1112 because this can often confuse people as far as what the date is and what the month is because they use different settings in different countries. Then finally on this fifth line we go back to our home and we click the center button and put the title of our essay right here. And then when we move down to the next line, we move it back to a line text left. We don't use justification, justify in MLA, we just use the align text left. We hit tab to indent. Notice that indents our papers exactly one half of an inch. And at this point we can start typing our essay. Okay, now there's one other thing that is needed for an MLA format paper, um, and that is page numbers. If we click on this top part here called the heading section, notice it takes us off into a separate center section. We go over to page number, we click top of the page, and my computer's running a little slow there, there we go. We click this third option. And after doing this, we then hit a space and we type our last name. Okay. Now you're going to also need to click this part right here. It says different first page. What that will do is it will remove the page number from page one. But when we go down to page two, notice it puts the page number there. Page number for page three is right there. Okay, 
we can't just, we do need to use that page, insert page number feature rather than just putting the number one there. Otherwise, it'll put page one for every page. And that's how you set up your paper in MLA format. Good luck.